What's up everybody? Welcome back to Simple C10. On today's episode, it is crunch time for C10 Nationals that's only in a couple days. There's a couple things that I want to get done on Francis before C10 Nationals. One of those is adjusting my LS pedal. So I bought the bracket from Liquid Creations and it works great, but my pedal's out just a little too far. So I want to cut it down, re-weld it, and put it in a better position. The second thing that I want to do is box in behind the raised bed floor. Whenever you pull down the tailgate, I want to have a nice little box there that I can store stuff like seats or tents or anything like that. And also to install my heart fab, the battery relocator tray um, in the side of that so I can jump my truck up or charge the battery from that back access panel. But yeah, let's jump right into it. I want to get done as much as I can in the next two days before C10 Nationals, and I hope to see you there. Let's knock out this pedal first because it's the most annoying thing. As you can see, this is the liquid creation bracket, and it just bolts into your factory two bolt holes here for the gas pedal, and then this bracket bolts to it just like that. It's a very simple design which I really like and it puts the pedal in a good position but let me show you from the side here. See how far this pedal sticks out? In the video it doesn't seem like that far but the factory pedal is way back here. So this is kind of the problem that I run into is I have my leg you can kind of see my legs way up here, which puts me in a weird position. I want it more closer to the floor like this right here. So as you can see on this bracket, I've already pie cut it once and bent it down and then welded it back together right here. And that helps some, but I need a little bit more. So I'm going to pie cut it again, bend it down to get this closer to the floor and then kind of test fit it and if everything works out, I'll weld it again and then paint it and install it back in here. This works without any modification, but it puts your foot in a weird position. So depending on if I can get it close enough to the floor with one cut, I may actually even shorten this some to put the pedal even closer. So I'll pie cut it first, bend it, see if it works. If not, then I'll just cut it and scoot the whole thing up some which may solve the issue. Another option that I thought about is just installing the factory pedal back onto the floor and then cutting this bracket where the factory pedal would push up against it. The only problem with that that I see is what if my pedal kind of gets stuck on this metal bracket and my throttle is wide open and that didn't seem as safe as just leaving this pedal and then cutting it and everything because I can cut it and lengthen it and shorten it as much as I want to get it exactly where I want without any issues. I bought this pedal off of eBay and I also bought the Liquid Creation Bracket off of eBay as well. Those links are going to be in the description. This is just a basic LS pedal. Uh, you don't want to get one from an SUV that has the big brackets up top. This one just bolts in and is a very easy install. All right, so here's how the bracket was bolted into the firewall. And when you press on the, on the pedal, this already went all the way down to the floor where I adjusted it earlier as far as it could go. So what I need to do is I need this at more of an angle, but also need it shorter. What I plan to do is go ahead and just take about an inch of this out to begin with. So where this little bend is, I'm going to take it out of here because the pedal can go a little bit closer. So if I cut here and here and go up, then it's going to allow me to get the pedal a little bit over and get it up. And then I'm going to cut an angle in it to get it back. This is kind of what, what I'm thinking. If the pedal is like this, then I'm going to, if I just cut straight down, in these two spots like this I could go up 
but since I want this pedal to be a little bit more in as well, then I'm going to a little bit more of an angle right here and that'll bring it in. So this is going to be my cut. It's going to be at a little bit more of an angle. So I'll cut here, I'll cut here, and then weld these back together and it should put my pedal at a little bit more of an angle in and then up and we'll start from there. I'll get my welder going and we'll tack these into place, bolt it in and see what we got. happy with the cut as far as how it lines up it was almost a perfect fit like it was made for that but now I'm gonna just put this back into the truck and see what we got here overall it's looking good so I've got it taped together now I'm just going to put the bolts in it um, tighten it down enough where I can push it with my foot first I'll just see if it even looks remotely close Well, the good thing is I can push the pedal all the way down, but I don't like the angle that this pedal is. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what I can do there. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt it in, like I said I was gonna do, and uh, just fill it with my foot. That's the main thing. Um, main thing I'm trying to achieve is is just to be comfortable while I'm driving cut a little bit more off the bracket and put a little bit more of an angle or I can see if I can adjust this pedal to make it just like this all the time to match the other pedal but let's see how it fits on my foot yeah this already feels a lot better than what it was so to fix the weird angle that was at the bottom all I'm gonna do is pop off that spring that's making the pedal stay and then now it'll stay like that and now the pedal will stay flat uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now just for testing let me get it welded in but I could always glue or epoxy that pedal straight down or just put a little clamp or whatever to keep that I don't think it's gonna be an issue no matter how my foot ends up on this comfortably it'll kind of stay where with where it's at Welded the pedal back together and grind it down. Now it's time. I'm just going to throw some paint on there, let it dry, and then install it on the truck, and that's it for the gas pedal. While the paint is drying on the gas pedal, we are going to go ahead and pull the tailgate down and I'll kind of walk you through what I'm wanting to do on the rear of this truck. Alright, as you can see right there is all open. I've got the battery, the gas tank all back there. Just enough room between the back of the tailgate and the fuel tank to put a 8 inch board there to box in to have some kind of storage. On this truck you might have seen in the past I have an enclosure in the back that has the tank and the compressors and everything on there I got that idea from Hester a long time ago he does a great job with that originally I didn't think I was gonna have enough room back here to do the tank and the compressors and everything even though I really like that look so I went with the VelaWorks side mount tanks 
and those are of course way up here on both sides they're mounted to the side of the frame so that opens up the whole back here so that gives me just enough room to put some boards here and that's also where I'm going to put the heart fab battery junction box there in the back and hook it to the battery that way I can jump start the battery or charge it with a trickle charger while I'm not driving the truck. I wanted to show you this view real quick just because some people have asked how I have my fuel tank how the fill is so you can see I have a 90 degree hose that I just cut to length to get right in the center of that board right here that way my fuel filler is directly in the center as you can see right here I just got a 90 degree and then I cut it and then clamped it down the secondary fill here which is kind of the vent. If you have a side fill, I just cap that off and I have a rollover vent right behind that. Here, let's see what we got. It's right about nine inches. It's not enough room to do a one by 10, but I think we can do a one by eight and still have plenty of room here where we're not getting into the gas tank. And then if we measure all the way across here, we're looking at about right at six feet. We will have to trim around this little box here. So whenever we get the board cut to six feet, I'll measure out. It's looking like we're gonna have to cut about three inches off of each side for the little box there. All right, so it looks like I gotta do a one by eight here. It's not a lot of room, but it's just enough and we wanna box this out. And then whenever I slide that board in the side, we're gonna have to trim out just a little box here. That way it will slide in. Now the way I'm gonna design it is it's gonna sit on top of this ledge right here. So I measured three inches, three inches, and it will sit on this ledge and sit on top of the metal here. That way if I ever need to unbolt it, it'll come right out. All right, so now that piece is in there, I'm gonna self tout the front into the metal after I get it stained and everything. That way it'll sit nice and flush. We gotta cut the backside piece. Backside piece will be 71 and three quarter, the same as the back of that wood. And then we will use some L brackets to bolt that into the side of the bed. Once we get that back piece in there, we will mock up where to put the heart fab battery box and we'll cut out the hole for that, screw it in, then take everything back out, sand it down, stain it, clear it, and reinstall it. Got my one by eight piece right here. I'm gonna cut it, and then this will be the back side piece. We got the back wood cut. Now it's time to cut out the hole for our heart fab battery relocation right here. So this will plug into your battery and also plug into a switch so you can, from the back of your truck, you can jump it off, you can put a trickle charger on it, and you can disconnect power to your battery. So I'm really excited about this. This is all billet. So thank you HeartFab for sending this. This is going to help me out a ton whenever I try to access that battery on the back. Now all I'm going to do is kind of trace out the edge of this and use my jigsaw to cut out the piece of wood and then I'm going to use this supplied hardware to bolt this to the piece of wood. Here's a quick tip. Whenever you get ready to cut the hole for this, go grab you some parchment paper and use it to trace out where you want your cut to be. So I'm going to lay it on there. I put a little crease in there so I can hold it down as I trace and I just want to go right in the middle of this edge and that's where I want the cut to be. Okay, That'll get me close. It's not perfect but again this will get my cut 
super close and then I can trim as I need to. Hopefully I won't. I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to put it on the board where I want it and then drill a pilot hole into the wood so I can use my jigsaw and go around. Then we'll test fit. I'm going to lay it on there just to see. Should be really good right there. That should get us close. Alright. Moment of truth. Let's see if it fits first try. Boom shaka laka first try. Look at that. Just enough, man. It's in there snug, dropped right in. We want to mark our holes where we're going to drill to bolt these in. Probably put some washers on the back side of these just to make it hold into the wood better. But once we get those four holes drilled, test fit it one more time, then we'll sand all this stuff down and we'll begin to stain it and clear it. good. We'll take everything loose, we'll stain, we'll clear, we'll reinstall. Same color that I used on the bed. This is Summer Oak by Verathene. I love the style stain. Easy to work with. They have some great color options. Looks good. All right, I got the pedal all painted up. I'm about to install it back and see what we're working with here. All right, there we go. So it doesn't look a lot different from this angle, but the pedal has moved to the left about this much and also back probably about three inches and up from the ground before it was about out here, which put my foot at a really weird angle. So let's see what we have now. Oh yeah, see this is naturally where my foot, I'm used to it being right here. Before I had to angle it back here that really had a weird angle on my foot. But now even I can have my foot rested just right here. It's great, I've got full pedal all the way to the ground without it touching. As you can see here, it stops about an inch or really about a half inch before the floor right there. It's even with the brake, so as I'm just going, it's an easy transition to the brake pedal. So this is good. I feel really comfortable now driving this. So this is a lot better. So here's an up close look of the Liquid Creations bracket here. It's a great bracket. It puts the gas pedal right where you need it but it's just a little bit too far out, so you have to cut your pedal down. I know some people will just take their pedal and they'll drill holes into their firewall. Um, since I have the GMSS panels and all that, this is my first swap. I just wanted to use a simple bracket there, but I mean, cutting this, welding it, painting it, maybe an hour total of messing with it to get it exactly where I need, and it looks good and functions really well. Overall, I'm very happy with the final product that we have here. I'm waiting on the clear to dry on the backboards and I'll install those. 
but the next project is I'm going to try to install this glove box. I'm going to cut this down. This is just a factory kind of cardboard style glove box. And this is where I did the painless harness. And there's the fuse box. There's my computer and all that mounted up with the nice little brackets that I bought from Amazon. If you want this setup, I have it linked in one of my past videos, but I'll also link it in this video here and in the description. But with this, you can't get this cardboard in there all the way. So I'm thinking I can take a section of it out and slide it within itself and then just tape it together. And that way I can have some type of glove box in here to put, you know, my registration, my little gas filler thing and all that kind of stuff. Just a place to throw some things. I just I just got it slid in there and I really didn't even measure that much or anything but this thing works great I just got to bolt it in I can still pop off this fuse it's got room to actually store stuff in there um, you know there's a there's a chance that things may drop in here but if I just have you know like my registration my fuel thing in here that's gonna be perfect just to hold a few things it's some type of glove box, even if something were to fall out through the hole. But I'm pretty happy with that. I just cut it some and made a back for it and used just tape to tape it together. And it seems pretty solid as well.
Right, I just finished up with the storage box back here. Looks really good, happy with it. Just enough room to fit my 10 by 10 canopy tent. I already fit it in there. Not enough room to fit the tent and the chair. So that's unfortunate, but it's all the room I got. It's a huge tent. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you this weekend at C10 Nationals. Don't forget to check out the website, simplec10.co. You can also click the title of this video, and in the description will be a link to all the things that I talked about. If you've yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, leave me a like. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend.